Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries where I try new things and I try to teach you new things. I just got in the mail my new Glowforge laser cutter, which is just this big exciting new toy that I get to make stuff with. It came in some really big boxes. I haven't opened it yet because I thought it would be fun to do that with you. So we're gonna open it up and see if we can print something cool. Give me the box. This is the biggest box I have ever gotten. And then I got a couple other boxes full of accessories. So <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be like Christmas. I need a knife. <laughs> be right back. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. One, two, don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. How do I open this? Over here? No. I don't need you. How do you open? Give me my glow forge. Oh, there's tabs. I think there's probably instructions somewhere online on how to do this, but apparently I'm bad at that. It's also the wrong way. I want to I want you to be able to see it. Rotate. I opened the little tabs, got these, cool. Let's open this box up. What? Oh, there's more tabs on the back. Duh. Whoa. Let's take a look at what's in this box. Really well packaged. Coolest foam cutouts ever. It's so pretty. So to so unfold this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It says that I need two people to do this, so let's go get my roommate. Thanks, Dan. Oh, gotta get the plastic off. Oh, I didn't hit my head on my tripod. Let's open it. That's pretty. Ooh. All right, set these aside. Remove the orange tape from the laser arm. Where's my knife, Lemon? We got the crumb tray, got our air vent. Snap it into place. All right, gently push it all the way to the right. Perfect. This is the printer head. It looks beautiful. Remove the foam cylinder. Whoa, that is fancy. All right, so this goes in here. Snap, cool. Nice. And lower the lid. It's just a big pile of trash on the side of my room. <laughs> Boom. That's pretty snug, yeah. Okay, so this is where my other accessory comes in. That's what this box is. Oh, it's so heavy. And that is the filter to filter the exhaust from here because I live in an apartment building and can't really like exhaust it to just my corridor outside because I think people will complain. Let's open it up. More foam, yay. It's fine. Don't try to lift it out by the plastic. Okay. <laughs> Are you trapped, Lemon? I opened it by the wrong side, apparently. All right, look at that. That is so nice. It's got wheels and everything. I think we're, we're finally getting to the end. It's actually not taking that long. I thought it would be harder to set up, but it's pretty simple. Connect it to the power. Ensure your Glowforge is off. It is in fact off. Plug in your GoForge, I did that. Make sure you plug it directly into a wall outlet and not a surge protector. Dang it. It is plugged into a wall, hopefully, hopefully it is grounded. I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm gonna assume it is. Okay, turn on your GlowForge. Oh my gosh, there's bubbles. What are the bubbles for? Wow. This is fancy. 
I'm already intimidated by this. It's a laser. Like that's intimidating. <sighs> it definitely shows dust pretty easily. It's gonna drive me nuts. Now we have the accessory pack. Yeah, proof grade materials. All right, I've got some medium walnut hardwood, medium natural leather, medium basswood. I don't know how to say that word. Thick clear acrylic. Thick clear acrylic again. Thick clear acrylic again. There's so much clear acrylic. Medium draft board. Mm -hmm. This stuff smells like lemon when she hasn't taken a bath, but that's okay. That's my favorite part of unboxing things. Look at all these materials we got. I'm really excited to try these. Let me put this into place. Got my material all in there. Close it up. It's scanning my material. The design software is like surprisingly simple. I'm worried that it's gonna be kind of loud and my roommates are gonna get upset, but I heard it's like a vacuum. I'm so nervous. I mean, it's a laser in my room, <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Let's push print. All right, I get to push the button. It's so cute. Now we pull off the protective tape because that got all burned and gross. Bloop. <laughs> all done. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. And I look, I got a little gift of good measure. Get it? Gift of good measure. I support any company that has puns with their stuff. It was so quick. It was only four minutes to print this thing. I mean, granted, it's not very big, but it was really fast and surprisingly more quiet than I thought it was going to be. It was about as loud as a vacuum, maybe a little quieter even. I am so excited to do some stuff with this. I'm going to make so many things. I'm gonna try to make some like juggling inspired art, maybe some kendama art, see where my imagination takes me. I shouldn't play with the door, but <laughs> my light keeps going out, so that's good. It is a professional piece of equipment with lasers in it, which means it is kind of pricey. This is the highest end model, so it is the most expensive, but they start at around $2,500. If you are interested in getting one of these, you can use the link in my description and get up to $500 off your purchase. You save some money, make some stuff. My light keeps going out, so I'm just gonna keep going without it. We're at the end of the video anyway, it doesn't matter. If you're not already subscribed, take a look around the rest of my channel and see if you like it. And if you do, consider subscribing because I make a lot of stuff. I make stuff about trying new hobbies and skills. I'm gonna be making a lot more videos using my Glowforge, showing you all the cool things that I'm gonna be making with it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun. I didn't set my apartment on fire, which tells me this is a good product because I'm a little accident prone. So this is good. It did a good job. Thank you for cutting things at really high temperatures and not burning my house down. You are the best.